In JavaScript programming, a toggle switch is a button that switches between two modes, on and off. You can also use multiple toggle switches to create more than two modes like a nested loop. A nested toggle switch houses a toggle switch inside another one. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, we should use JavaScript to add a toggle switch to a web page. The JavaScript codes on a website should be enclosed in script brackets as highlighted in yellow. Next, we will add the first function. We assign this function with flaps1 referring to the initial lowering of the wings of an airplane. We copy the same function and we rename it to flaps2. We do the same thing for the third function, so as the fourth function. If you have noticed the functions carefully, there is an if statement that initially displays the block, the segment of a toggle switch being defaulted to turned on. Otherwise, it would be turned off. A toggle switch is something that switches between on and off mode each time you press the button on an HTML web page. We will now specify the designs for the toggle switches. For flaps 0 to flaps 3, as well as flaps full, we assign the width, padding, text align, and margin top to 100%, 50 pixels, center, and 20 pixels respectively. For the individual flaps from 0 to full, it will first start with a medium gray. We have already discussed hex codes in a previous video. The hex code for gray is triple AT. And then for flaps full, we assign the background color to black, which is writing the number zero six times. And then for flaps two, which is midway between flaps zero and flaps full, we assign it with 40, 40, 40, which is the average of 80, 80, 80, and writing zero six times. For flaps 1, we assign it with a background color of 606060, which is the compromise between flaps 0 and flaps 2 background colors. Meanwhile, the background color for flaps 3 should be a compromise between flaps 2 and flaps full. The average of 404040 and 000000 is 20 20 20. The principle of varying the shades of gray here is just the principle of averaging from medium gray to entirely black. We will create a division for the nested toggle switches. The division is intended to put a segregation, a specific portion of the web page, in other words. This division has the paragraph called flaps, all in capital letters. Next, we will add a description in paragraphs. We have already discussed in a previous video how to use bold, italic, and underline to highlight certain words on a paragraph inside the web page. We will add the first toggle switch inside a division. We name it flaps1. For the second toggle switch, it will be written inside the first division, inside the outermost division. This is the concept of a nested toggle switch. We do the same thing again for the third and fourth toggle switch. As you can see, the division for flaps3 is inside flaps2. So therefore, 
flaps full division should be inside flaps 3. We will now preview the toggle switches. As you can see, as you put it to flaps full, it becomes the darkest. And then flap 0 should be medium gray. In the process, you're making it darker when you extend the flaps. I hope you find this video interesting to watch as I discuss to you nested toggle switches.